Hello everybody, I'm a little sweaty already. I uh, just got back from dropping off my husband at Walmart and picking up some stuff. Um, tomorrow I am making chicken with turkey gravy, which tastes just like turkey on Thanksgiving except juicier, um, which I'm gonna make a video of that tomorrow. Um, but I am gonna do a quick video of just some uh, rotisserie chicken. Uh, just chicken tacos. I'm just gonna make some chicken tacos and show y'all basically all I do is I get the rotisserie chicken, I rip it apart, take off all the chicken as you should. I leave some skin on because I do like some of the skin, just not all of it. So like so like that and I'm gonna make this one a real short one just tear this and I love doing these chicken tacos they're so good uh, so fast you can do a regular chicken too but I wanted quick tacos real quick to eat um, before I go to bed well not before I go to bed but you know before the night is up Rip all that apart, rip it all apart. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this under 20 minutes. Try not to put any bones in your food. Feel around. You feel any muscles or bones? Take it out. So next side. Rip it apart. Okay. I forgot that I was supposed to grab my onions first, but it's okay. So I have a, a half onion, a half of an onion, a big onion that I'm going to throw in there. I'm going to turn on my heater, my mecha already, my stove. And I'm going to let that cook and sizzle while I'm peeling off the rest of the chicken. You want to get everything off this mouth out. Oh, Alright. So, take off all those meat from the chicken. Even though it doesn't have much, still take it off so it doesn't go to waste. Pull the rest of the meat off of this. You know, some of the juiciest meat, people are like, okay, there, all the meat's gone, all the, the chicken's gone. No, some of the juiciest meat is right here on the bottom. This part's right here. There's all this meat that is there. Okay. And it is so juicy. All these pieces of meat, all that meat. It's so soft and tender. Okay, put all of this right here. So you go under the butt. You see all that? And this is so soft. So soft. Get rid of the skin. Now on the bottom here, I don't like the skin on the butt. And too much on the legs. So I do throw those away. Chicken, chicken. Uh, this chicken, throw the skin away. Put that around. See, all oh, this is the bottom of the chicken, look. And it is so soft and tender and juicy. That's my favorite part to pull off of my butter garlic chicken that I get, the rotisserie chickens I get. That butt cheeks part. It's the best part, the booty. Oh, grrr. Piece of chicken with it all. All right. So now we can throw this. I usually throw the juice that's in there in my food, but that's with the garlic one, not the lemon pepper one. So now that we're done with that, take off our gloves. Let's add some garlic powder.
going to add some cilantro. Garlic, cilantro, and lemon pepper to give you more of a lemon pepper flavor. Okay. The last thing you're going to need is a pack of chicken gravy of your choice. This one's from Great Value. They were the cheapest ones, but I normally get... Um, they have McCormick. I want to try that one because I love... McCormick to me is like one of my favorite seasoning uh, brands. Uh, but you can do whichever one you want. So because these were only 70 cents, I was like, let me try these, see how they are. If I like them, I'll continue getting them. If not, I'll go with something else. So that's already mixed right here, ready to throw in there, but we just need to brown our chicken first. the other burner get my little I love this little it's all built up with grease and everything but I love it because it's my uh, tortilla my corn tortilla pan so I'll turn that on time Now a neat trick that I do so that I don't use so much oil and have to like put the oil and save it or whatever, I get my oil, I pour some on the paper plate. So that basically the little layer is way less oil to waste than to have to put it in the pan and fry your tortilla. And it also saves you from having to get all that popping grease on you when you're frying them. You know how those tortillas pop on you and they burn you and shit? This way, they don't burn you. So you just basically dip, dump, and you put it on the thing. And that's all the oil you need. I hope you saw that. <laughs> that is all the oil you need. You save oil. You don't use too much. The tortilla is not soaked completely in the grease. So it's just better all around. Turn this slow. Put your chicken gravy in. And it's going to start thickening up real fast. So are you going to... Oh yeah, we're burning up to 8 minutes. Alright. This is so good guys, you can also use this for chicken flautas and it comes out so delicious. And that's basically already done. So where's my flippers? like to get a paper plate and a paper towel put that puppy on there there's actually plenty of grease in here from the tortillas so just dump one side there you go 
Okay, so you use so much less grease. I think even that was too much grease for my four tortillas. I could just put very, very little. Very little, you don't need a lot of grease. Unless you're doing a whole bunch of tortillas, you still don't need a lot. Compared to filling up the whole thing. And it does, as you can see, it's not popping on me. So on this tortilla right here, that I already have cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I have some sharp cheddar cheese right here. I'm gonna cut the square in half, place that on my tortilla. Do the same thing with the other tortilla. See how there's so much grease, you don't even need to add no more grease. Just add that piece of cheese. I'm not even gonna add any more grease to it. I'm gonna lower my mecha. There's so much, there's enough grease in there. It's already enough to do it. So now we get our roasted chicken. We add a good helping. other cheese, cut it in half. Okay, we're out of our grease, so we're gonna dunk one side. And I still have all this grease left, so if I wanted to, I can do probably like 20 tortillas. You can't see it, but. There's enough grease there if I want to, I can do 30, like 20, 20 tortillas total. Alright, let's fold this taco. And if you want these crunchy, you just leave them on the comal a little, on the, on the stove a little longer, on your comal a little longer. And they'll be like their, uh, Bidia tacos. Delicious. Add your chicken. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Of course, I forgot to buy lettuce, so I don't have lettuce to throw in my tacos. Turn that up, put it in the back. See, it's getting all toasty here. I should have turned it off already. It smells so good, it tastes so good. Okay, there you go. You have some lettuce, some salsa, avocado, tomato, whatever you wanted to add on there. I'm gonna eat them like this, um, cause it's just, I can't wait, I'm hungry, and I know this is gonna taste real good, yo. So, there they go. So they have the sharp cheddar cheese, you have those grilled onions, the chicken with lemon pepper, un, uh, garlic, uh, lemon pepper, garlic powder, uh, cilantro. There you go. And like I said, if you want them to get toasty, you just take this, leave it on the uh, the comal and grill, and let it get crunchy, and you'll have a badass crunch taco. Anyways, guys, that's 15 minutes. I'll let you go. That's all of it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try them because they're really good. Seriously, try it. They're really good. Add all your toppings that you want, but make that rotisserie chicken the way I told you. Delicious. You'll love it. Trust me.